we are with the applications for a form that we have called Young Tiger Fist. And uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to talk a little bit through it while the students uh, actually do the combinations and techniques. So the first technique that we'll do is called the diagonal raising tiger claw. And it's against a right hand punch. What we're going to do is we're going to do a, a block, a punch, a back fist, and diagonal raising tiger claw. So what Scott's going to demonstrate is another application of the Tiger Power using the exact same techniques but the application is just a little bit different. He's going to use some linear, straight, powerful motion and kind of pile drive right through the game. So same exact technique, we only just changed our paradigm a little bit in how we applied it. Awesome. Next technique we have is called uh, Tiger Grab to Break. And this is also going to be a, guess, a right hand punch coming from the side. Great. And what we saw here was what our block into a capture. Let me get you guys back and we'll talk about that a little bit. So the punch comes in, he steps in, does an outward block, he's going to turn that right hand into a capture, step into a square horse, and as he plants his left foot, he's doing an inward block, hyperextending Scott's right arm. Then using a, tech, uh, a theory we call opposing factors, he's going to pull Scott into him, and at the same time, he's going to let loose with a horizontal elbow into Scott's ribs. Next technique is called kicking tiger. This technique is against any kind of overhead attack. And what you see, Mateo is doing an upper block to stop the attack coming down. He's going to execute a front thrust kick, stepping through into a uh, cross behind side kick. Into is called Jumping Tiger, and it's against a right-left front kick combination. And we'll take that kind of slow. So the first two punches come in, what Eric's going to do is he's going to jump back and forth, switching into a cat stance with an out of block. Very light on his feet, very quick, and then he's going to pop into a third cat stance and do a downward block, opening up the kicking opponent by the center line. He's going to punch. He's going to drive in with the rising elbow of the chin, and he's going to come right back down on Scott's face with that tiger claw, swift, switching to a reverse cast stance and a hammer fist into the groin. The next technique is called tiger defense, uh, and this comes out of a, a technique that we learned in the first chart called inward defense. And it's just sort of a, the same exact technique. He's going to step back as the punch comes in and execute an inward block and a tiger claw to the face. Opponent throws another punch. Eric steps back, does another inner block, and diagonal right the tiger claw to his opponent's face. Yeah. <laughs> the next technique is called the bridge. The bridge is against a two-hand shoulder grab from behind. Back that again. So Scott's going to do a couple things simultaneously. He's going to do a hidden foot, dropping his body level and grabbing his opponent's wrist at the same time. That all has to be one motion. The next step is commonly missed with this technique, but he's got to pull his head and pull the arms off at the same time. So it's an opposing factor. He's pulling up, getting the hands off the shoulder, and pulling his head out at the same time. If you miss either one of those forces, it might be hard to dislodge your opponent. Then we're going to end with a, a very nice arm bar using his opponent's arm to make the bar. And the final technique will be a kick to the bar. And the next technique is called a bear hug, free and back. 
So we're going to step from a neutral stance into a square horse while simultaneously dropping both elbows down. If you don't get the arms dislodged here, it doesn't affect the technique at all, but maybe you get lucky, maybe you get a little bit of loosening, but it doesn't really matter. So don't let that, if the arms don't come off when you come down with your elbows, don't let it bother you at all. Next we're going to do what we call attacking the wall. So Daniel's going to bring his legs together, swing them behind Eric into another square horse, and then rotate his body to the right, basically pushing Eric over his legs. Good. Excellent job. Final technique in this form is called Tiger Claws, and it's against three opponents. Two coming from the side rushing in, and one coming in from the front. And what Scott's going to do is Scott's going to pop into a square horse and give uh, these two gentlemen the business end of his Tiger Claws. They come in, and then Eric's going to rush to the front. He's going to get two Tiger Claws to his face. Great. So this is some of the applications from Young Tiger Fist, uh, practicing good health, and we'll see you all later from Seattle.